morning. Thanks for the opportunity. Just, that's right. She's having, she's having another cup of coffee. Good morning and thanks for the opportunity to speak about this important issue. The Housing and Community Development Network of New Jersey is the statewide association of more than 250 housing and community development corporations, allies, and affiliates um, that support the creation of homes and jobs for low and moderate income New Jersey residents. Our members believe the President's proposal can help prevent future financial crises like the subprime foreclosure disaster that's harming the state's families and our neighborhoods. We need more and we need better oversight so that Garden State residents get the fair and transparent lending practices they deserve. The subprime foreclosure crisis is harming so many residents and is a direct result of lack regulation, lax regulation and look the other way business practices. The select predatory methods employed by some mortgage lenders and credit card companies that lured millions of uninformed consumers into unwise loan agreements are among the principal causes of today's ongoing economic crisis. Congress must act on the President's proposal to establish a Consumer Financial Protection Agency to prevent these kinds of practices from doing any more harm. Instead of bringing consumers more competition and lower prices, deregulation of the financial industry has brought heartache and financial ruin to millions of American families. Financial institutions simply cannot be allowed to police themselves. The foreclosure nightmare is the most obvious result, and the growing credit card debt people feel around our country is another. Congress must adopt laws that prevent families from losing their homes and their life savings, as the Financial Protection Agency would help to do. In addition to creating the agency, the provision in the President's plan that requires lenders to retain a 5% stake in all asset-backed securities in order to discourage risky loans and the practice of passing at-risk assets off to other investors is of particular interest to us. It was this practice of marketing investments in these subprime foreclosure, in subprime loans that led in part to the market meltdown. If better regulations had been in place, like those removed in 1999 when Congress undid the Glass-Steagall Act, we may not have had to bail out private institutions with public dollars. It is simply unconscionable that some of these very same institutions that once, prof uh, once profited from unscrupulous business practices, many of which are now being supported by taxpayer dollars through the TARP program, are lobbying against those improved regulations. Go ahead. After all the harm that has been done, some in the financial industry are working to block these very long overdue reforms to what is now a fatally flawed system. Big banks and industry groups, including the Bankers Association here in New Jersey, are committing enormous resources for a massive nationwide disinformation campaign to kill the Consumer Protection Age Financial Agency and other necessary reforms before they can even take shape. So today we ask these banks the same question that Joseph Welch once asked Senator Joe McCarthy over 50 years ago. At long last, have you no sense of decency? Congress needs to do its job and put the President's reform proposals into law to bring fairness and transparency back to our financial markets. Our members say it's the decent and responsible thing to do and needs to be done quickly.